Oh. All right. Hi. <laughs> Gang's all here today for this garden update, garden tour. Welcome back to the Peterson Homestead. I'm Amherst, and this is. Say your names. Amari. Armani. Axel. <laughs> I don't know why they're acting all shy because they are not shy whatsoever. <laughs> okay. So, here's a little update. I've had these minions for. Forever. Ever. Forever. These are my my other babies that are here with us for the week, and mom and dad are coming to pick them up. But finally, we went. I went to Tractor Supply and got more soil, put down in the raised bed, well, the no-till bed, and um, staked up the raised bed, put some yarn to get the cucumbers trellis, and finally decided to do something with the compost pile. So we'll take you over there and show you everything that's going on right now because it's pretty great and I'm pretty excited about this compost pile. It looks really good. All right, so I finally got the cultivator. Nope, you gotta leave it alone. Gotta let the bugs and, and everything kind of get situated. Um, put that apple back in there yeah so the moment i broke open the soil all of the bugs <laughs> like all of like the spiders decided that they wanted to run away so i'm pretty sure there's still some in there but there's tons of roly polies there's tons of um worms that are in here and and different kinds of spiders that are in here so i want you guys to be careful with the no just because I don't know what type of spiders are in here I know there's the wolf spiders which are kind of afraid of people and they just like run away um, but I don't know there's other spiders in here so yeah that's a that is a wolf spider where to go Let me see if I can get it okay nope wolf spiders are not cute Oh, there it you is. Saw, I saw one of those Where? Right there. Yes, there. Grass is itchy. Um, yeah, so it was really cool. There is a really weird looking wasp over it there. Like, it was white and black. Yeah, white and black. And we're trying to stay clear of it. Um, so. Yeah, like I was saying, there's tons of roly polies in here. There's tons of centipedes. There's centipedes. There's worms. So what I'm doing is just gonna let it breathe for a little bit. I'll probably come out here in the next day or so with the uh, um, with the shovel and kind of turn it some more just to continue getting the the soil to break up and we'll probably add more um, of the, the black cow manure in here as well but as you could tell you could I don't know if you can see but there's already little people stomping through it <laughs> there's um, there's gnats or the fruit flies or whatever flying through it too so <sighs> Axel stop that so, this is our compost pile, and I'm pretty excited about the soil. It didn't take very much That's to kind of turn it once there was, you know, the grass was broken up and everything like that. All right. Um, it is the very next day. I had to quit filming yesterday because uh, I had some things that I had to get done. So, today I will finish walking around and showing you guys everything that's going on in the garden. Let me fix this real quick. Um, my little babies have left. They left me yesterday, last night. 
they're on their way back home to their mommy. Uh, so it's just, you know, just me and my, my kiddos now. But, so, um, couple things. One, I'll take you over to the raised bed to see what's going on. Two, I have sea moss water that I am going to go and um, pour into the garden. I've already poured some into my um, my aloe vera plant that I have in, indoors, and I'm just going to take some of the sea moss water from the sea moss that I, I bought, and I'll link. Um, where I got it from in the description below um, and uh, I let the sea moss soak overnight I had to, I waited for my mom to get to my house to be like mom what do I do um, and so I'm going to do that I'm going to well I'm not going I'm going to do that <laughs> she showed me how to do it we rinsed it rinse the sea moss a couple times and then we let the sea moss soak overnight and um, so this is the water that the sea moss has been sitting in so I've already made my sea moss gel I've already put some on my face <laughs> so many flies right now um, so I'm going to um, kind of We've already talked about the the soil over there and uh, and everything. And I'm gonna give that a couple days to kind of just like continue to put um, continue to put like compost. Uh, compost uh, things like all my vegetables and, and eggs and coffee grinds and things like that in there and kind of continue to build it up now that I've broken up that soil um, and we'll come back in a couple days and probably get at least like a bag or two of the black cow compost and just like mix that in there um, so we can have a good healthy soil for the rest of the garden bed <laughs> So, I'm going to experiment with this water, and I'm going to pour some of it into the garden, and just pour some on my plants, the soil, and see how they like it. Um, I watched a video um, from the guy who sells the sea moss that I got it from, and he waters his his indoor plants and house plants like that with the sea moss water so um, I'm thinking you know let's see if the garden likes it and then I'm gonna go over to my uh, vines that I have up against the fence and there's a pod that is growing on there and I don't know if that's I, I, I got I just want to check it out because I haven't seen it before so let's walk around and we'll go check that out and then we'll come back and I'll show you the new seats that I got um, courtesy of my mother and then um, we'll see what I want to do from there so I guess I guess we can start here since I have watermelons growing right in here. And I'm just going to pour just a tiny little bit there. Where's this one start at? Right here. Tiny little bit. Because the soil here is already wet because it looked like it, it rained. And so I'm gonna do that. Let me switch hands. <laughs> And then we'll see how that, we'll see how those likes it. But, alright. 
here we go. Look at this. Oh, my thing keeps falling down. I have yesterday I came out and tied the string up. I guess I'm not tying the string up tight enough. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that and then pour some of this stuff all over my plants and see how they like it. I guess I didn't tie it tight enough. What I'm oops, mostly concerned with is my pumpkins over here, you know, so let's see how the pumpkins react to this water. <laughs> so the pumpkins are all the way back there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of the pumpkins that are that we've replanted and everything like that so we are going to see how many how they like this water um and go from there no thank you buddy no thank you Here, you change your mind. If I change my mind, mm -hmm. okay. Mommy, what do plants eat? What do plants eat? Uh huh. Uh, it depends. Do they eat water? They drink water. Yeah. pieces of, of the sea moss that didn't get put into the blender that that are still that are in there if you can see that they're in there so I might just the sea moss was with water mommy yeah oh. I don't know let's see good for I got Sea moss is good for a lot of things. 
There what we about go. humans? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Um, right here, my tomatoes um, are growing. The okra looks like they're doing really good right now. So I went ahead and watered all of the, not all of the plants, but some of them. And I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to rain today or not. So I don't want to like over water them. But look, you can see the little pieces of sea moss in here. So I'm going to leave that and see what that, what that does for the soil too. Because I'm sure, you know, it needs to continue breaking down and things like that. Um, and I'm gonna go for there. I really, really am looking forward to seeing like this actually green up some more because it really looks like it needs some extra stuff. So we'll see. We'll go Mommy, see what's going on. Because it's from the sea, buddy. Oh. Okay. Then came out yesterday and the kids and we did three more bags of the compost the cow compost here and I think I I don't know if I really want to get any more bags of soil I might get the soil from over there on the compost pile that we have and kind of just sprinkle it around and break it into or like spray the water and and just sprinkle it Sprinkle the soil from the compost that I just created. And then water it really good. Make sure it like mixes in there really well. And then, breaks yeah, it breaks down. And then come out and decide exactly what I want to plant here. So this bed is almost ready to go. And then my little vines here. I gotta get these to kind of trellis up against the fence to grow up against the fence so I'm gonna have to get some nails or something like that to put it in there and now look we only have like one little flower here when it flowers these flowers are so pretty these flowers are so pretty um, when we moved back because we planted these before, you know, before, obviously, way before we left. But, um, they get, like, really pretty purple flowers all over. So, that's really cool. We had three of them, only have two now. But here, see, I had to bring, this one is growing up. Hold on, can't really see. But this one is growing up and over the fence so I'm gonna have to kind of I'm not tall enough and my stomach is getting in the way so I'm gonna have to have Brian come out and help me just grab the branch that you see flying in the wind over and just like kind of start nail putting a couple of nails into the fence so that it grows actually don't do that it grows out that way like that one is bushy this one for some reason is growing up and then I think we'll probably get maybe a few more of these but this one right here has a pod growing off of it like two of them Mommy, what's See this? Pod? it's a seed pod oh. so I don't know if I want to take it off and crack it open and then like plant these or just leave it what do you think Axel take it off and crack it open take it off and crack it open yeah so there's two of them can I take this one off go ahead but be gentle be gentle you don't want to break it be gentle use both of your hands buddy yeah. both your hands Okay, and then there's one right here. Can you get that one? Yeah. You want to take that one off, Mommy? I got it. Right here. 
And then we'll bring it over to underneath the patio and just um, break it open and see exactly what it is. If it's seeds, that means we can plant them. We can plant them. Yep. So let's do that. But if it's that. not, then we can't plant them. No, but it's it's probably a seed pod. Come on. So yeah, that's that's it. I gotta. I don't see any seed pods growing on this one. I don't know if the pods like fell off. Excuse me, because this one has um, growth down at the bottom of it where it's just starting to grow down. Um, but I don't see any more pods. So this is pretty neat. Hmm. Pretty neat. So yeah, that's that. When my mother came yesterday, um, she brought more seeds. She brought me seeds. So she brought this. Can you see? The winter, winter squash. These look really cool. Then I got peppers. Oh, no. oh apple. Squash. Well, bye apple. I got enough of these growing. Chives. Real fast. And then basil. So. What basil? Look at that. Uh, look. Sweating. Sweat, sweat. Boot sweat. Um, so, I think what I'm going to grow, I will probably save the... I don't know. I could probably... These are heirloom sugar baby watermelons. Face saving vines yield icebox size six to ten pound melons with sweet red flesh and small seeds. So I have to decide when I want to plant these. These we grew a lot of these the last two times. In California, when I planted these, we grew a lot of these, and these these grew really well the squash so I mean I want to grow I want I want to grow more vegetables I don't like hot peppers my husband might like these hot so peppers? we'll just I'll see these are it's, it's spicy it's spicy but these I really want I want to grow these I want to grow these. Carrots? And then, no. The butternut squash. Butternut squash. I love butternut These squash. take 95 days. So. Um. I ate I did. Good job. Um. This. Mm, apple juice. I have to decide where to put this. Froggy. The chives, but. Let's see. I think I've heard, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the chives grow well around cucumbers. Oh. Is it a stick? It's a stick. It did look like a frog, huh? Yes. Um. So, there's these chives, and I'm going to look those up soon and see if I can, if these will grow well and with the cucumbers, with the cucumbers in that raised bed over there. So, I'm trying to get things that um, grow well together, that pair well together, so that... I know. It looks so like frog. 
I'm gonna go inside. Okay, buddy, I'm coming in in a minute. Okay. Hey, can you grab that glass for mommy over there? Yeah. Be careful holding it. I have to decide where I want to plant these. And then, it might be too late. But I still have, I have like, I'll probably do these next year. The loop, I have lupa seeds that I grew. These are the seeds that I grew. Thanks, Mama. Um, and then I'm also thinking about doing the, um, Rice bed. the three, three sisters, which is the corn, green beans, and um, peas. So, thinking about doing that. We shall see. But I'm excited to see how well the you know, the plants take to the sea moss water and and everything. So we'll see. And then we're gonna let these pods dry out. And but I wanna also take you guys to the front so that you can see this volunteer watermelon. Just like my kids decided that they wanted to, you know, spit watermelon seeds pretty much anywhere and everywhere in the backyard and the front yard there's a watermelon that's growing and I don't want to I don't want to dig it up because it's just gonna it's gonna die and I don't think watermelons transplant very well all right so here's the front of my house I'm not showing you my house but um there's our little watermelon our my volunteer on but I just I didn't want to pick it either because I I didn't want it to die so I'm just leaving it letting it do its thing I'll come back out here in a couple days and just kind of prop it up better but as you can see like the it's already like it's already flowering see now why would I, why would I pick that? Why? Why would I pick it? Oh look, a grasshopper. No, right here. So, there's my azaleas. And then there's spider webs on their azalea plant, so I gotta kinda I gotta fix I, you know, I just I got things I gotta do with those plants. <laughs> and then my hydrangeas. And this is weird to me because uh, I guess this is part of the plant too. But I've never seen it. It's just growing on growing on old wood I was gonna come out and cut it <laughs> but then I saw it and I was like oh goodness no I'll just leave it so I have to prune those down a little bit and fertilize it but I was expecting to come back and like see how big they were but it's hot here so I gotta gotta fix that too I gotta get some fertilizer. But yeah, that is my my volunteer plant. And I'm not picking it, I'm not moving it, I'm letting it grow, I'm leaving it be, and I'm excited to see what it's gonna do. And it's crazy to me that this is doing so much better than the ones that we grew in the back. I don't know if it's because there's mulch down here, Hey, be careful with those plants, please. We'll see. But also, I didn't come out here and put any seawater 
sea water. <laughs> I didn't put any sea moss in here, so we'll see how it goes between the front and the back. Okay, I don't think it wants you to bother it right now. Come on, let's go inside. It's hot. Let's go. Oh, mommy, I saw a black widow. You saw a black widow? Yep. Tried to bite me. It did. No, leave the black widows alone. But that is it for now. We're gonna go inside. Relax. Please? That goes to the garage. That yeah. doesn't need to be in here. And yeah, that is that is it for now. Um, we will see you guys. Later, look at my skin. Looks a little red, doesn't it? Yeah. It's hot. It's time to cool off. But thank you for watching. We'll see you guys later. Bye.